Good evening. Welcome to the Sunderland Board of Selectmen meeting. Tonight is Monday, August 6, 6.30 p.m. We're kind of filling in. Normally we're in an off meeting schedule and uh, normally we would have met last week, but since we didn't, we are meeting tonight. So we've got a little bit of item, uh, items queued up for tonight. So first on our agenda is our annual visit from the Kitchen Garden folks for their Chili Fest. <coughs> and we have your one day liquor license for the Chili Fest. And before we get to the shameless plugging and advertising part of it, um, I'm just going through, I don't see any issues from the chief or the health folks. So everything looks yeah, pretty good and in order, right? And a, just got liability, liability insurance. insurance. Yep. So, um, so that looks all in order. Um, and we've signed some stuff for that. So, um, and I don't think that anybody have any questions on any of the paperwork or anything, or no. I think that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. So this is September 15 and 16. The hours are from 12 to 5. And this is at 23 South Main, down by Mike's Maze. Yep. And it is a annual event that many people look forward to. Yes. So we'll, we'll give you the opportunity to to do your plug for it and everything. Okay. Starting now? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, September 15 and 16, our annual Hot Pepper Festival Chili Fest. Uh, we'll have um, our annual release of our sriracha and salsa. We'll have lots of spicy food truck vendors, um, Chase Hill Farm, Little Truck, a new East Asian, uh, Southeast Asian uh, food truck and spicy food, um, Kailash Kitchen doing dumplings, um, Laughing Tomato Pizza, we'll be doing our tacos. Uh, and then both days, full lineup of great music, uh, four bands each day. And uh, so we're here for the liquor license. We'll have yes. Exhibit A, Abandoned Building Brewery, Building 8, um, one other, uh, Honest Weight, and oh. Artisan Beverage Co-op doing their Spicy Libation, which is a yeah. collaboration that we do. Okay. So. Sort of like a spicy ginger libation? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then we also have the fun hot sauce competition that's open to the public, the chili cook-off, which is uh, chefs can enter, and um, we do a hands-on DIY pickle making with hot peppers. Uh, and st stuff for kids, too. Heck of pickled peppers, huh? Yeah. There you go. Nice. That's wonderful. Uh, there's no objections by any of the chiefs that have or the health, so uh, move to uh, sign the liquor license request as submitted. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll sort of second that since we need a second on that. So there's only two of us. <laughs> All right. And we should be looking for signs and advertising. That's and right. All that September. exciting All stuff. All the yard signs out. Oh, yeah. All the flyers up. Are you getting to the point where you're doing vintage releases of the Shoracha, or is it like <laughs> dated? Or? They are dated. I do my best to sell them out. We're very close to sold out of the 2017 batch. Nice. And, uh, nice. Tomorrow's our first day in the kitchen roasting onions and peppers for the salsa. So here we go again. All right. Well, well, that good. would be our producer's phone back there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> oh, it's, okay. it's time. We're done. <laughs> That's, it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Very uh, good. Well, again, Carolyn, wish you yeah, all the best appreciate and great it, yeah. success with it's that. It's been brilliant. It's been a good, uh, a good draw and everything. Where folks look like they have a good time, so it's yeah. good. Can't stop now. It's going to be a hot <laughs> event in more exactly ways than right. one. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's getting to about 76 degrees and sunny. We'll leave it at that. <sighs> I'll, I'll order that. Up. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Put that in. <laughs> <laughs> no rain. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks again. Uh, thanks. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. All right. So next. On our agenda, we've got uh, Barry Tozlowski and John Sacri. Hey. Tell us. About the 11 to 13 Bridge Street sore blockage backup. 11, 13, 17. 17. So, like all three along there? <coughs> all right. Show them the picture. Yeah. What, uh, yeah, so what's the scoop? We had a blockage uh, back in. I'm not sure. I'll give you the date in a second. Um, between these three buildings, this is. Um, That's where the wild roots is, right? Yep, yep with Billy's. Mm -hmm. yep. And then and there's house, right? That's a two family. Okay. 
and they all tie together. Was that we had a sewage block up, and the cellar of 17 uh, got about three inches of raw sewage yeah. over the entire basement floor. And um, so it has a it has a floor drain, so it's the lowest point. Yeah. So when this blocked up, it turned out the blockage was down in here. Everything backed up to the lowest point, which was over there. The basement there. <coughs> um, so we had we didn't really know what was going on at first. And yeah, right. Called hmm. the Fletchers, and Fletchers came up and uh, took them. Oh, it was a good four five hours to figure the whole thing out. This was in June. Um, Before we got out all that rain and everything. June 11th, 6, 11, 18, they uh, sent out, um, they hydro jetted it down to 300 feet. And uh, it's a six inch clay line, two foot sections of clay line. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and it was blocked, there were heavy tree roots. Uh, accumulation down in, in this area. There's some large trees that get in the in those the lines. way that the lines put together, just like right. in those joints, yep. gets in. And it had blocked very set for 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, finally met its match and wound up in the basement. Mm -hmm. um, so I think what we're I think is that. So we were, it was, it was, it was uh, 1276 dollars to Fletcher's. And um, I think what we're here for is to see if we can get the town to uh, help us with that because of the length of the run um, and the fact that there's three buildings on one. We're, we're thinking that this is more of a sewer main and then just a run out from individual. Well, it's definitely top. beyond the feeder lines. Yeah, not the building, okay. not a building tie, actually. Right, which, is, which tends to be right. the towns. Okay. But we're also looking for a little bit of forward thinking here. And Fletcher, I think, recommended that we get some sort of a manhole mm -hmm. in that line somewhere. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're going to have. You know, it happens again. Yeah, it's a blind yeah. entrance here. There's no manhole where it ties in. Okay. There's the mm -hmm. manhole there, mm -hmm. and uh, so there's. And we were just talking to Rich um, and Bob, and, and uh, there was some concern about who knows how that was tied right. in right, right there. Right. Uh, so maybe should be kept an eye on for future projects. Hmm. But Fletcher recommended that. Um, that this line be maintained over time. Every, every couple of years, jet it, plus, you know, and we can talk to Richard about that as well. And yeah. Is it the right, I wrote down material right off the bat. Is it the right material for the time? I mean, it's just kind of, a, it's a long run. It goes right under 116. Right. Is this property tied into it here? I don't know. I don't know. Or are they we tied in directly to that part? We of have it? a film of it, if you hmm. guys are interested. I have the Love to see it. We, have, we look at all it's that really stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we watch hours of it. Well, if you'd like to take it home tonight, no, I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. I'll definitely take it. But that's the uh, that has a, they filmed the whole thing Camera. as far yeah. as they can yeah. go, which was uh, uh, 200 feet mm -hmm. as far as the camera would go until mm -hmm. uh, it tied into the city main on School Street blindly. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for the photo. And uh, Rich, you want to uh, weigh in on? I mean, it, obviously, you didn't put it in the ground. You came over. Correct. Oh, I didn't. Did. <laughs> we did not put it. Was there? We, we may know. We, not we, we may know the parents who did, but you know, it's okay. Uh, um, can you um, address I, mean, I think I think one thing that John had stated, and um, Barry even stated also, um, what what is the definition of the sewer surface, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what you've stated. It's so long, and it carries from one side of 116 to the other and ties into School Street. Um, in general, what 
what we've used as a definition of what the town's responsibility is, is the manholes and the mains being the common sewer. And the property owner is supposed to be responsible from the building right to the edge of the common sewer, meaning the manholes and the straight runs between. Um, that's the way it's always been enforced and that's the way it's always been, it's always been kind of, kind of conveyed to citizens and what have you. Um, as far as the definition of what the service is, is, it's a different situation. I've never seen this quite arise, not in, not in town here. So, um, and the fact that we have no records of it. When, when it was plans. put in. Yeah. It's like, there was no yeah. records of the sewer at all. Well, I was, yeah, I was wondering, like, this seems it's kind of like an unusual stuff. installation, right? Well, we, we spent some time a couple of years ago chasing what, where the outlet to those buildings were and couldn't find them, if mm -hmm. I recall. Right, yeah, I remember that. To, the, to those buildings? I believe yep. so. In what manner? Um, no, there was, there was one house that we chased. Oh, it's, it was a different... One house, okay. and um, we dye tested that, yep. and none of the dye came up in the sewer system. So. I know. Um, it's determined it, must it be wasn't connected, system, right? So. Yep. Okay. Sorry, that's the one that I came after you for. Yeah. Was yeah, I was talking about the Batemans, but it was right. we didn't. Um, I, same area. That was the yellow house you're talking about. Was that the other cape? This other right. cape? Yeah. That's not. Another selectman said you guys paid me, but I don't think so. <laughs> really? I thought it wasn't a. I thought it, we can follow up on that. I wish you would. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Rich, with, with respect to this, if I could, you know, we got building drain, right? We got building sewer, combined sewer. These are definitions in the bylaw, and I want to just make sure we stick to that with respect, not make any new definitions. But we have these essentially combined. It can be argued that the building drain ends at where they tie together, and then it's a what, right? Under 116, across the right of way, there's probably one of the two right of ways that have the curb cut. I assume it's under that one, and into School Street. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, we have no records yeah. of it, and, you know, um, I don't know what the easement is yeah. to get that there. Um, I have no record of that either. So. I don't think there was an easement. That's, this is all prior to um, that, all, that thing when all that stuff went in right after, right after the, when the bridge was being constructed. Mm -hmm. How old is that, that whole line? That line is there now. Well, if the, when the bridge was out, it was, what, 36? Yep. Um, five to ten years later. Can I ask another question with regard to materials? It's not a material we'd use now, right? You wouldn't use clay tile or clay pipe. Yeah. yeah it's so not going to happen. Update it. Right. Um, next piece is getting in and under 116. Not necessarily the easiest thing for a district to do, right? Mm -hmm. So let's think if I could just explore the, the blue sky exercise. If we know that it's subject, is there another tie anywhere that we can consider capitalized, not necessarily you guys. I'm thinking out loud as a sewer commissioner and, and ditch this. Yeah. Yep. And then connect where you should. I know. I, I'm thinking caps. Not necessarily for tonight, but well, as we talk. I don't talk, think we know where the church goes, do we? No, we, we, we know where the We're, garage. Or the garage. Right. Well, the garage was tied into this, right? Wild roots and all that was tied into. I wonder if it was put in right. before. But the, the church, where's the church? Change. Does that go you go across the, the street? street right? I remember when we went down between the church and the but that uh, was a building. storm drain. That's a storm drain yeah. from the parking lot. It says there. sewer, but yeah, it did say sewer. But I, I would dare say the church ties in it. I would say on South Main Street. South Main, because that sewer is really deep sense. on South Main. There is it. Yeah, there's plenty of. It's on the other side of the street. Yeah, right? that there's plenty of pitch. A lot of those, a lot of those houses are tied in there. Um, because be the near one is the force main. They're not going to tie into that. So it certainly be a lot easier if you're going to relay it to go between the church and the building mm -hmm. across the street. Yeah, that require another reason, unless that's maybe, maybe that's a private have. way, correct? Between the church yeah. Yeah. and the and that yeah, function that hall drive. that they have yeah. there. Got it. Yeah. You'll have a tough one getting that by God. <laughs> be true, actually. Well, this is certainly. Um, it's sad circumstance to lead to an interesting discovery, you know, I guess is the best way I'll put it with regard to having it back up and now being aware that it is of a particular vintage and a particular method 
that's an awful long way. Uh, you have any sense as to what the invert is? I mean, it's, is the pitch even close? Well, that's that's school street that in that line's very shallow right. i would dare say that it's pretty flatly laid i would say another p potential contributor so um i know the pipes when we opened the manhole on school street is maybe where that one that was coming from the ball fields sure, or, but that was a six feet down no not even no. Maybe not. No. Not and and i understand the root pieces and i appreciate that i wouldn't actually mind looking at that piece of video as well I understand the, the root penetrations in here as well um and I guess I would ask another question since I got my, my sewer hat, my sewer commissioner's hat on. With the change of use from the garage, is there any reason to consider or be concerned about a uh, short service restaurant as opposed to its original intent? Grease, grease traps, uh, or to output. total volume. They have a output. grease trap there. I don't know, I'm putting that out there only no, because it was a the green, I went in to look for it, yeah. and there was a grease trap there underneath the three compartment sink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a mm -hmm. grease trap that they said they had emptied out every few months or whenever it needed it. They don't make a lot of grease, although they, they do make bacon there, I right. guess, but most of the stuff is a lot of vegetarian stuff, right. low fat. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, just thinking about use change. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. And that's, again, you know, part, part not necessarily, again, of the the circumstance that leads to the dialogue what we can talk about um, but this this is opportunity for improvement no matter how you look at it the I mean, question the is how do we Fletcher seemed it? to think it was a big enough sewer line it was mm -hmm. a six they, they said a six to eight inch clay mm -hmm. uh, two foot sections and um, they thought it was plenty big enough it just needed to be reamed out okay. more frequently mm -hmm. get the roots out of it and, so they probably have to replace the section with root infiltration, I would guess, right? It begs the question, you know, do we talk about having, if this stays, having having to have it lined to deal with the roots or repaired? But again, if you're, if you're gonna line it, is it the right thing to do? It's just the fact that there's roots in it, they'll tell you it's shallow. Right. I mean, if it's down below the groundwater table, the roots wouldn't be present, so. Good point. Um, huh. and, you know, we had relined most of South Main Street and all the old Amherst Road. South Main, we relined all the areas above the water table. Mm -hmm. It's because they would, they showed root issues throughout. Mm -hmm. So the trees are very, very hardy. When it gets dry out, they figure out how to get water. Yeah, yeah. good point. The clay tile pipes are perfect. So, can you install a clean out mid run? Uh, a clean out could probably be installed. I just don't know how to get access because <laughs> I don't know what the easement right. is, mm -hmm. how it's written. I don't think any of us really know for sure what the easement is. If there is one, yeah. yeah. There may not be. I have yeah. no idea. Okay. Or maybe a look at a manhole. Located at 116. It has yeah, to be either in the, the private way or in the. Yeah. In, in you the could put a manhole way. in School Street. In the public yeah. way, our public right. way, not the, not the state road. Yeah, they don't, uh, they don't like that. They don't like that much at all. Okay, so we have a couple of pieces of homework as I, as I see it. Um, Obviously, we have to do research to see if there's any easements that show this anywhere in our records. You know, turn turn the deed of records loose on them, and then uh, the the second. I'm thinking just about the ties, the extension, and we'll get to the get to the request. Right as I look at that, um, a plan for at least uh, access way, right on School Street. I don't know how fun that would be if. In a perfect world, in my mind, you'd have this abandoned and you'd run down and tie into South Main. And you're not under you're not under 116 ever again. It just goes away. But it's, it's, that's up to the engineer's recommendation. Um, I know that that's a fair amount of disturbing going on, but if this is a matter of maintenance, and it won't be us in 50 years. It would be, 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 <laughs> be, be somebody else in 50 years, and they'd be going, what the hell were they thinking? Anyway, um, so maybe uh, from a capital perspective, Rich, we can look as commissioners and, and operator about what it would take to get, you know, one, two, and three to a, a space that's not across 116. That would be like the blue sky exercise. Actually, you know, if the yellow cape near the bridge is on a septic, yep. and uh, we would like to tie, tie yeah, into that the... As well. There you go. Yeah. Sewer line because it's on a septic and really by rights it should be on the sewer line, you know. Yep. If it's within reach of yeah. it. Close to the river, yeah. 
So a piece of homework, the second layer of that homework, so I got easements, right? We got ideal design. And then the last would be the second tier is how do we do about long-term uh, capital maintenance for this branch, the way it works? I think, I mean, from my, I'm not speaking for myself here. I mean, it'd be fine with me if it was just on a, on a maintenance schedule. Maintenance schedule. Yeah. We'd get into that, yep. into that downspout uh, thing and yep. get right in there and yep. ream it out once a year or whatever. And that was the, that's my that's second. Final. That's the second tier. And with that schedule, John, you know, a way of making that easier, whether it's access way here, Y up here, somehow, but that all that's all predicated on, you know, what easement do we have if one exists. Are there any issues with how these are all connected up here? Oh, the, ca yeah. the camera would say, right? Look at, you guys understand what you're looking at better than me. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'd like yeah. to see it. I mean, let us know. So you, you, uh, John, they came from the house, right? That camera went essentially in this building. Oh, it went from the uh, clean out in the front of Billy's. Okay. It was an old rain, um, sort of a, a drain. Yep. It looked like for the leader off the roof yep. at yep. one point, but oh. somebody had put one of those plumbers uh, expanding yep. rubber yep. plugs in. Yep. You know, they put the, the wing on them. Yep. And so it just looks suspicious. So we pulled that off because mm -hmm. we weren't having luck going through the Wild Roots bathrooms. Yep. We pulled the toilet there and tried to get, so couldn't get mm -hmm. very far. And then this leader thing with the plumbing uh, wing nut, mm -hmm. took that out and then stuck the um, hydro blaster. Went down that way. That way. Jet rod, and, yeah. Yeah, you know, that was the way. So we could continue to use that as a, as this end. a maintenance yep. point right on the corner of Billy's. And then figure out what these, the video, look at what these whys or how these tie together, one's twice and three, what do they, they turn into a what? And then we go, is yeah. it six everywhere? Is it four to six? What is it? Yeah. Okay. Because like maybe that one's smaller. Because all the stormwater is still going. Right. Mm -hmm. Stormwater, there's a manhole in front of uh, 17 that we pulled up in a very deep yeah. stormwater. Time was they were combined though. Huh? Time was these were. Well, that's combined. what I'm saying. That's, that's what, what we were saying, afraid John. of. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I was wondering if like the rains, because that that's caused a lot of problems in other places. Bob, anything you want to weigh in on? Uh, no, I just uh, you know I got the call and I responded with the sewer maps and I'm, I was stunned. <laughs> it's always I've nice. I always wondered about that right. over there. Right. How did how did they get there? And you think about that, it's a it's a it's a pretty bold move. Again, you're under under the 116, and then there's two curb cuts here. I know this on, on the on the side, 116 on that side. So maybe there was something, and that's again a piece of our home. On the school street side, there's two curb cuts. Yeah, and it goes right underneath one of those. Yeah, right. It does. Okay. Now back to the request. We will have to uh, canoodle on the request for the. For the reimbursement, because of the unique situation, I'd, I'd, I'm, I'm more inclined to be receptive to it. If it wasn't as unique, then it would be pretty easy. The responsibility is on the, on the building owners. But this one here, we kind of unearthed the mystery. So <laughs> we can work together and, on both the capital piece, but also on the, on the request. And I would, I, would, uh, I would wait till we're a full board to understand that. Yeah. Is there a way to get a copy of one of these? We can have that. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. And um, Rich, what do you think? Uh, you want a oh, copy of the bill? Oh, you can get that to Sherry. I don't need the bill. This is important, though. <laughs> Rich, with respect I to the... I feel better if you take the bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with respect to the, the video, maybe you can just shoot us an email if you see it and say okay. just what the heck. And uh, after we understand our easement piece, you know, if one exists and if not, how do we create one? That's a, a piece of administrative yeah. homework. We can begin to cite maybe something for this end, how it ties together, yep. you know, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like you say, there may be that some of those adjacent houses tie in too. That's what I'm wondering, yeah, you know. I wouldn't be surprised. They tie in somewhere. They got to. Right, and it's just a question of whether they go off this, off the School Street one or off, and did that predate the bridge work? Who knows? 
Bob, yeah, 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 are all the yeah. school street yeah. homes it was shown street. on the on right the school street? The, it yeah. doesn't show laterals. Does not show laterals. No. But well, I mean, it would take a little. It would take a little uh, doing. But uh, with permission, we could look at where their tie-in is, where the penetration goes through the cellar wall. If it's if it's dead on School Street, you know it's going to go to School Street. Right. If it's right. going it's that way, way, you know it didn't suspect. go that way and turn. Right. Right. And right. right. You know, reason to do it that way. So yeah. Good point. <laughs> you can learn a little bit from that if they would let us go down. Brilliant. That would help. Yeah. Okay. So we have some homework to do, and uh, we'll we'll have this on our uh, subsequent Monday agenda. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we won't make any decisions without you guys present. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks for the thanks, thanks. for your work. Yep. A soil archaeological mystery. Hey, sometimes you find those pieces <laughs> of interest and you're like, oh, that's yeah. where that went. Oh. Got to make sure we put that on our um, GIS layer mm -hmm. and stuff. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. You just had it, John. Just had it. <laughs> Keep an eye on him, Barry. I'm embarrassed myself. Sure, you do like that. Here. That's right. Why <laughs> somebody didn't call you? I'll get it back to you, John. In the first part of this, when you guys talk for a reason, yeah. and when they were going back, when it was in charge, Right, because if we have to redo it. <laughs> all, all good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. As well, right? Brilliant. All right. <clears throat> Next on our agenda, we've got Chief Dimitropoulos, and looks like a new face back there, so come on down. We're going to talk about our occasional periodic readjustment of part-time staff. Yes, yes. Hey, Chief. Why? Good. How are you doing? Always good. Sometimes great. <laughs> good to have it that way. <coughs> okay. A little we busy have... day today, so I apologize for the uh, confusion. Uh, that's all right. That's definitely that. Do we have the original resignation letters? I don't know. We don't have those. Anyway, uh, today's... I, I can I can scan those in and quote them. I think those are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, one that's of them right. Because I remember reading. Yep. Yeah. yeah I remember at least one of them. That I okay. Thank you. Yeah. I I'll definitely just scan them again. It's no trouble at all. If we have it, I just I was I was not here for our meeting and want to make sure we uh, respect and uh, reflect our appreciation for uh, anybody who moves on to full time. Good for yeah. them. That's no, definitely. Career stuff. No, definitely. Um, well, thank you for having me here uh, this evening. Uh, I bring with me uh, Matthew Morin, who's one of the three candidates that we're presenting. Uh, the other two gentlemen are working um, at their full-time jobs. One of them's at the jail, uh, but can be here for the next meeting. If okay. you want to wait for them or meet them, we can do both or okay. one or, or either one. Um, so I submitted a letter today to uh, Town Administrator. Uh, requesting that you uh, please uh, allow this letter to serve as an official request to hire part-time officers. And it, uh, as you may be aware, we recently had three part-time officers resign to them being hired full-time. And to memorialize that, we had uh, Bryn Raptor went to Bernardston, uh, we had Jordan Zukowski go to Greenfield, and Cody Wells go to Montague. So we wish them the best of luck. They were great to work with. Absolutely. Uh, now, during the uh, 300th planning, uh, Sergeant Lyons and the full-time staff met and conducted interviews, and I believe there were seven uh, interviews. So out of that, he gave me a list of um, potential candidates, and tonight I bring you three names. Uh, we may or may not add a fourth one for the uh, next meeting in two weeks, okay. but I'll know more as we get closer. Um, so, so tonight, you have three names, Chief? Three names. Um, so Matthew Moen is the first one he's here tonight. Yep. Uh, Robert Karkoff is the uh, other gentleman, and uh, Benjamin Drake. Those are the three gentlemen we are requesting for a uh, part-time uh, appointment for the police department. And this is uh, a net increase, or this is net zero with respect to staffing? Uh, this 
with all three of them will put us at net zero again because right. those it's, three it's important for me to ask mm -hmm. on camera so people yeah. go you yeah. keep hiring cops yeah no actually we don't <laughs> well, the, the great yeah. thing about it is is that our officers are moving on to be full-time candidates right. in other departments so obviously they see the uh the potential fund them uh so that's it's it's sad and, uh, to, to see them leave but you know we know that we bred uh, good officers that's right that's Definitely. a good thing uh, move to appoint uh, Matthew Morin, uh, Robert Karkoff, and uh, Benjamin Drake as uh, requested by the chief. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now that we've appointed you, Matthew, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. How are you today? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Anything about coming to Sunderland? I'm very excited about the opportunity, sir. We're thrilled uh, the recommendations the chief has been bringing us uh, have been uh, stellar all the way around. And with that, congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. It's nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Always a pleasure to see you guys. And it's also not just for us, but so that you know, folks in we'll watching you, the right. town can get to meet the new folks. Oh, he's already been told they see him on TV. Because, <laughs> yeah. so. you know, I mean, I suppose for most people's part, that may be the only time they ever get to, to actually see you, hopefully, you know, depending yeah, on I mean, we're not always it. called to dinner and say, come on in. Exactly, but, you know. You know. Yeah. No, but we, we welcome, uh, Matthew, we welcome the, uh, the other uh, candidates as well. Uh, we're hoping to bring regularity. Uh, this time of the year is a little bit more difficult for us, even yeah. though school's out and right. it went up, everybody's on vacation. Um, so Especially right about now. Yeah, yes. yeah. so the end of June to the end of August, we're, we're, we're strapped. So, um, we're just hoping that we can make sure that we still provide the 24-hour service that we've been able to do. Uh, we work closely with state police, as you know, so uh, some of those days where we're unable to provide that service, state police is there. Um, but we'll keep going at it and, and and you said earlier about my recommendations i have to you know rely heavily on the officers that i work with sergeant lyons and, and the staff they're they're doing a great job that's um, good. which makes you want to continue working so well, that's good stuff and remember the whole community part of community policing right yes sir yep I appreciate that most definitely important you have any other questions for me i mean i'll i'll meet up with sherry again to yeah uh, i've already told the other two gentlemen to, to be here for the for the yeah, 20th okay. yep that would be fine. I'll just coordinate with her on with the approximate time. That would be wonderful. Thanks so much, and again, congratulations. Looking forward to working with you. Yes, you as well, sir. Thank you. Outstanding. Good, Chief. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Enjoy yourself. We'll go this way. Night. Thank you, folks. All right. Um, how about we approve the minutes from 716? Right, right, right under there, there, where they're supposed to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, move the minutes of the 16th of July as presented. All right. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Okay. That. okay. And then board updates. Uh, as you know, Mr. Chair, Mr. Vice Chair, I've been way at our last meeting I guess one of the most recent updates has to do with uh, feedback for exemptions from mass DOT about the North Main Street project yep. and as those as that information comes trickling in about their feelings toward the exemptions that were being asked for uh, we should be able to get them pulled together and uh, have a, a more public more publicly broadcast meeting Right, yeah, interested in parties, and in, but we are getting feedback from the state. Frankly, uh, they, they're not they're not accepting any of our design requests at all. I and noticed they, that just yeah. like not, and they're to their well to the system's credit, they're throwing back at us our own complete streets plan, our own improvement plans, our yep. own park grant applications, and saying, well, you have all, all these, these subsequent plans and you have been proposing and asking for and participating in, these, they're, they're inherently opposed to the exceptions that you're asking for. Yes. So we'll get that all put back together. Uh, there was also an EPA, EPA? No, DEP walkthrough at 120 North Main last mm -hmm. Friday. No, not the rainy Friday, the Friday before. Uh, so a week plus ago, they have 35 days to respond uh, okay. to the request for uh, consideration of the Conservation Commission's decision. 
So we'll I'm sure that the um, interested parties, developer, conservation commission, maybe even some of the abutters were available for the walkthrough. Um, but that did happen a, f a week ago Friday. So that's, a, that's an important step. It is an important step. And again, that's that good. process continues to unfold. There are steps in the permitting process that allow for um, challenges to the decisions. And that's a healthy part of our overall goal to keep this transparent. That's good. <clears throat> um, I know we're moving ahead with our personnel study, so we'll be doing more with that come probably like around Labor Day or so as we start moving ahead, which is nice. And I noticed I got a, some comments on another one, our IT program agreement as we get down to that. And we, we can chat about that when we get down a little farther on the agenda. So um, do you have any exciting updates for us tonight, Sherry? I do, um, a couple. Uh, there's a grant application for capital projects that's available. The grant's due next week. So 17th, we looked at right? some of the capital projects that we have on our list of things to do and tried to match them up with the criteria in the grant application. Yeah. And it looked like the School Street one came out on top. We could tie it to housing, the senior housing project that um, is going on and to economic development with the downtown and the, and the park project that's going on and the boat launch and all of those things. So what we would like to do, um, we'd like the board's permission to apply for a project up to um, $100,000 that would include design, um, on-street parking, li landscaping, lighting, um, and that's in, that's in all some important. construction. We're not sure what the total budget will be. The um, maximum amount under this grant program is $100,000, so we want to try to get it within that you know, thousand. So we have meetings um, this week scheduled with um, Berkshire Design, mm -hmm. Sarah Campbell, who oh, engineered okay. the complete streets, and um, um, the surveyor as well, mm -hmm. to take a look at budget for the project. Um, so with the board's permission, um, we would like to submit the application. We'd like to have a public input meeting on Monday, just to mm. um, especially invite the abutters on School Street yep. um, to be a part of the conversation sure. from the beginning. And um, so we would do that next Thursday at 6.30 and submit the application by the 17th. Okay. And when, when did you want to have the, oh, you're gonna have a meeting? On Monday. A week from tonight? Yep. Okay. 6.30. So folks know, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll move to, move to apply for that grant accordingly. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Is that by signature, Sherry? Yes. Okay. And I'm just thinking, you know, a lot, of, a lot of folks might look at these as separate items, but really they are really all tied together when you step back at, at the 30,000 foot level and look at the big picture of like the future of the town. All this stuff ties in together towards economic development and a lot of other things and just a boost to the living quality too and in the use of you know, pedestrian uh, walking and everything. So that there is there is sort of a, a larger plan going on here, right. so. And unlike a lot of the other grant um, programs that are out there, this one will let us include design and um, I don't have to tell you how expensive it yeah, is. Yeah, so that's we a were, big chunk of any project. Yeah, yeah to have exactly. this opportunity is great. Wonderful. Um, the street light conversion project, we have a meeting tomorrow with Real Term Energy, so I'll be able to give you um, Good. A better idea of that um, at the next meeting where we're at, but it's moving forward uh, anyway. Okay. All right. Um, now we come to the public comment section of our evening. Any public comments tonight at all? Good evening. Hey, well. Hey, how are you? How are you, <laughs> how are you doing? So we're not going to take any action on a aggregation tonight. I was going to say so it was on the yeah. uh, yep. agenda. Yep. And I, we're going to hold off. Going to be a discussion about it. I yeah. wanted to be here. To yeah, absolutely. Yep. We wanted to make sure we had a full board. Yeah. As, as uh, Chairman Tom is uh, not available tonight. Okay. Um, I do have a question. Yeah. Uh, going back, you guys were talking about the getting the feedback mm -hmm. on North Main Street. Um, is that sort of like the, um, for lack of a better term, the Dan plan of keeping the street the same width? Uh, it would add N narrowing the travel lanes to create the memo DM. Right. Yeah. and that's getting 
Um, thumbs down so far. Yeah. 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 And that's from both the local highway district, MassDOT, as well as their supervisor in Boston, who is the head of the Complete Streets program. Yeah. But we continue to ask. And, you know, once we get these answers compiled, this is very similar in response, if I could, uh, Mr. Vice Chair, very similar in response to what the uh, peer review brought forward saying that in their collective experience that this would be about as much as you could ask for and still stay inside of the uh, current guidelines. And they're pretty much aligned. So what Lou Rubito presented uh, and his company whatever a month ago, uh, looks like the most we would get from the DOT is gonna be those exceptions. So four foot is an exception on the bikes five foot is without exception on the sidewalks and travel lanes are an active discussion we asked originally there were 11 plus lines we are asking for 10 plus lines and we digest all those emails from today put it in a format we can have share at a meeting we can invite everybody in to say it so i don't want to get ahead but i'm listening and so it sounds like uh, at one point, we had we were talking about an idea of the North Main Street essentially being the same width as South Main Street, and that would give you four foot shoulders and keep the travel lanes the same size. It would match South Main Street. Is that sort of what they're going to in response to our request? I've just got to. It jive through it's it's aligning that way so okay. 10 foot lanes and four, four foot, foot shoulders, four shoulders. Foot shoulders. Right. so that would be 28 feet across if it's good i think we're going to end up and between we'll striping and all yeah. that we're going to be at or near 30. Sure. which is what south main street is and yeah. um and that would be currently north main street it's like 25 and a half 26 vehicles yeah so that Okay. Yep. We're, getting, yeah. it's, 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 we're, yeah. we're getting close. Yeah. Yeah. Know? yeah. But they they were they were pretty they That's were pretty the adamant. Stands, I, I think yeah. their thought is you, you narrow the yeah, four foot travel lanes five. by marking as opposed yeah. to like physical. Right. 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 So. so part of our part of our agenda tonight also is to uh, ask about the work order for exceptions, and we've got to figure out what those exceptions are before we process that. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a lot of money tied up in engineering already to ask them to you know, resubmit a little bit more. So over the course of the week between now and our next meeting, we're gonna have to figure out what those are, get through those correspondence, yep. make sure that we're asking for the one thing or the one area or two areas that in the really same fashion. It. And frankly, we have to, uh, at a personal level, have to get in touch with Dan and I wanna thank him for, he did this himself. Right. Yeah, he's put a lot of work right. into it. And it's greatly appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. And then my last question, and I'll let you get back oh, to that's there. right. Uh, the uh, the grant that's for sort of school street is that what I understood? Okay. Just keeps going. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm just going to put in a plug for the uh, previous edition of the Economic Development Committee yep. and the zoning changes that were made yep. uh, years ago. Good yep. point. Very yep. excited. Yeah, those I think those helped to lay a good foundation. Good. Which is good. nice. Good. Thank you. It's, oh, thank you. It's slow work. Yeah. You know, those yeah. those uh, committees that meet over a period in, you know, whether it's a year or multiple years to put together a small binder to get acted on, and it takes a decade for it to get to acted on. It takes centuries. It takes centuries. Right. <laughs> exactly right. 300, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Thank you very much. I'll, right. I'll see you again. Uh, next, yeah, we'll push that off till next week. The, so um, with respect to the, with respect to the work order, right? Yeah, we may as well leap into that. We got to make sure that we're asking for the the right thing. Yeah, see how there's a so this is five revised. So that's yeah. the Dan plan. Yeah. This is the Lou plan. Okay. Do we have to ask those guys yeah. how much of this is close to the original plan? It seems like an awful lot of money. To twenty nine thousand dollars is the request. Mm. for submitting the exceptions. I'll be happy to participate in that phone call if, if, if um, okay. you don't want to. Uh, we can coordinate. Okay. 
right? I'd like to see the baseline set of drawings, the original ones, and then what the vet, what the, the, the total here is. If this is cut and paste for twenty nine grand, then you know, I'm gonna say no. Right. <laughs> I'm, yep, I'm sorry. Agree. But this clearly we have to do is exceptions and filing and clearly this time and I get it, but you know, yep. we're not we're not uh, needs to be a little more reasonable. Correct. Yeah, I would agree. All right. Take care of those two items. So then we have our Hampshire IT program agreement. So Sherry, you had the meeting today or yesterday? Um, last week on last Thursday, week. we had a kickoff meeting with Paragus. Um, mm -hmm. They will be the provider of IT services under the contract with the Hampshire COG. COG. Okay. Uh, we get the group rate under them. Good. Um, and it went really well. We're um, excited about it. Um, the state IT department called today. And um, under the community compact, they've hired a company called Acuity yep. that comes out and does an assessment on. We've had that done before, yeah. Yep. So they're going to um, take a look. The last one was in 2013. Yep. We've done some work since then. Right. So they'll take a look and they'll make some recommendations going forward. We had the um, capital um, line item yep. in the budget this year, so we have $20,000 that's been set aside. Okay. For improvements, and they'll help us prioritize where we should be focusing. And okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I know Tom had voiced some concerns about um, what some of the municipalities have been going through with with, uh, with virus things, and I've noticed an, also an uptick in spam email. Yeah. And as as somebody who works in IT, one of the things I, I, I we need to stress too is it's not just your firewalls and your anti. Because the people are just as important as those protections. Because most of the um, uh, most of the hacks essentially get in through spear phishing and phishing attempts that way, not a direct hack into mm. the system necessarily. They get in through somebody else's credentials, and. Um, there's been, and one of the things we have to look at too is vendor things because a number of people have been getting in via vendor access mm. that way. So that's kind of something we have to yeah. just make sure we look at. But I, I can't stress enough, don't, if you have even the slightest doubt about something, delete the email or and don't, because if it's that important, somebody will email back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's <coughs> because people click on something and then that's all they need and that's, you know, that's how a lot of the Russian hacking has been done and a number of other things. So it's like, it's important. It, all of this stuff is fantastic and it's going to help, but we still need to be vigilant as users. Human condition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good, good way to put it, David. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. And our, our last exciting item on here is the wastewater treatment plant gearbox work. So we've got some issues with the gearbox, I'm guessing, huh? Yeah, um, we do have funds set aside for this work. Okay. Which has made his recommendation. There's three different vendors. Um, so it's a thousand dollars for the for the gearbox box. work to Universal Electro Me Me Mechanical Services. Yep. And then there's the removal and installation of the aerator blades to Helion Associates. Okay. And the crane and rigging. So, so just to ensure we have apples to apples here, I see the first one says gearbox work. Right? Yep. So this is not going to give us a rebuild gearbox. This is a remove and inspect. Yep. Like item like two there where they're listing all those items out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Not to not to not to belabor the point, mm -hmm. but you have a proposal of six thousand dollars. You have a proposal of 
essentially three thousand dollars and a proposal of a thousand dollars. The first two You have a crane as well. So removal and install of aerator blade. So on the second page, Scott, he summarized the yeah. cost. Did you do you have that page? Yeah, right here. Yes, I see the proposals. This is more helpful than reading the narrative. Okay. Thank you. So when all said and done, the bits and pieces, if I could, Mr. Vice Chair, mm -hmm. if you look at the bits and pieces, because just craning and rigging, not rigging, aerator blades, et cetera, our actual spread is between $7,735 being the low, the next being $7,800, and the high being nine thousand six hundred and seventy one dollars and this is the lowest bid and it's low by seventy five sixty five dollars yeah. okay okay uh move to grant is recommended by rich by the treatment plan operator uh second all those in favor aye aye just care of some more work on our and again there's monies available through the sewer maintenance mm -hmm. Right. Reserves. I have one more please, to the, um, yes. the recommendation for award for um, gas for the oh, highway. Oh, our contract. contract. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's that time of year. It is that time of year. No doubt about that. And yes. that would be to Burke for... Uh, two dollars and seventy three cents, and that is unleaded um, eighty seven octane. And is that a, a state bid or is that a, we sent we we submit we solicited we, we solicited bids and we received from Burke, Sandry, and Roberts, and the low was Burke. Have we had any trouble with deliveries from Burke or any? Have we used them in the past? I'm not sure of. Uh, George seemed ones. okay with it, so. I'm okay. They're based in Chelsea, so. Trucking it out. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I do see a lot of those trucks from that area come out here. Yeah. Uh, move to recommend uh, the annual gasoline purchase for this year to Burke uh, Fuels as recommended by the procurement officer. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And I know on here we have our next meeting is to be announced, but it looks like we'll be here next Monday at 6.30 p.m., right? Same bat time, same well, bat channel. We're just going to do a public informational meeting, um, but so it, it, informal, but if you do you want to make it as... Uh, is that... Let's think about this. Is it the 13th? Yeah, because it's your off week. Would it make sense to confirm a date with Tom if it's informational about North Main? The yeah. 20th, yeah. I think he'll be back because he yeah. won't be back until the 14th. Mm -hmm. So, our next meeting was going to be the 20th. Mm -hmm. And the information meeting is just about School Street. Yeah, we were just going to put flyers yeah. in the yeah. doors yeah. and yeah. just yeah. invite them to be a part yeah. of the initial conversation because you know we don't even know if we're going to get funding, but there's no action required by the yeah, board. No. So, okay, yeah. so just an informal meeting then. Yeah. So, our next we're meeting try to will have be the engineers there, okay. myself. Sarah from the Pathways Committee. Yeah. And so next for us would be the 20th? 20th, yep. So our next meeting, the next regularly scheduled Board of Selectmen will be Monday the 20th of August. And I was just notified by a member of our audience that we have used Burke before. Okay, good. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> so. Good. That's where it helps to have some institutional I, history I, and yeah. remembrance, you know? <laughs> Um, We're talking about 50-year sewer ties today. Yeah, I know. That's, well, okay. hopefully as we go down the road and we start recording all this stuff in the GIS, it'll make it easier yep. 
for 50 years hence. Completely yeah. agree. Yeah. Under this capital grant program, it, you know, that might be an opportunity for us to take a look at that uh, manhole on School Street. Too. Right, exactly. Yeah, which is fortunate timing, I guess, yeah. <laughs> in a strange sort of uh, way. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, use, I use that term, you know, unfortunate circumstance leading to something that we didn't know. That's right. Nobody got hurt. We, we, right. we, and we learned something. And now we got to figure out how to make it better. Better to have, find out than some bad circumstance. Exactly. Like, yeah. All right. Uh, do we have a motion, motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Uh, second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, FCAT.